So next we'll come over here to the image element. I'll go ahead and drop this image right here and we'll come over to the video here in just a minute. I'm gonna click this, remember, one, two, three. I'm gonna come over here to my settings and now you see that we have the ability to do something that you're not gonna see anywhere else. If you have an existing image, rather than deleting your image and loading a new one, what you can do is you can come over here and replace your existing image. Now that's pretty cool, but watch this. I pull this menu down and I have the ability to search for an image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click search. Now this little window opens up. I'm gonna type in the word car. I'm gonna click go. And you see that it went and pulled in images that are royalty free, Pixel Bay, Wikipedia, um, let's see, image.com, flickr.com. Let's go ahead and choose this car here. So I'm gonna say use image. And you see that it's downloading the image. And boom, there is the car. Notice it even brought it in with a transparent background. This is now an element, which means I can move this element wherever I want on the actual page itself. So that is extremely powerful. You don't have to go out there and buy stock photos anymore. You don't have to spend premium prices. InstaBuilder 2.0 will go out there and find these images for you. But you know what? I'm just getting started. Because remember, I also said that you can come over here, click this edit button, and with Avery, you can actually go and edit the image right here inside of InstaBuilder 2.0. Now, since this is an element, you can have this element where it is linkable. It is clickable. You can have it open up to another URL. You can have it to where when you click on this element, a pop-up box opens up. So much you can do here, guys. That's the images. Now, let's come over here to the videos. If I wanna go ahead and drag a video element in there, that's how fast it comes in.